Hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Happy Friday. We made it through week number two after this workout, which is going to be so great. I came on early and I don't have all the examples I needed, but what you want to have for today's workout is either sliders or you could use socks or like tea towels, face cloths, um, anything you have around the house. So that is if you are on hard wood. So basically you just need something you can slide on. If you are on carpet, then you need something that's plastic or a paper plate. So paper plate, um, container lids are really great too. Anything, again, that you just have laying around the house. So make sure you go grab that now. There is no modifications. This class is using something like a slider, a hand towel, a container lid, okay? So make sure you have that nearby. These are just, I don't sell these or anything. I know that I'm gonna get questions about them because they are Yoga Burn brand because at one point I was thinking about making a program with sliders, so I had these samples made up. Um, but they're not for sale. These are the only pair that exists. <laughs> we decided to go a little bit of a different route and create um, the band workouts instead of the slider workouts. As you guys can probably tell, I love slider workouts because they're very challenging, but they're low impact. So there's no jumping. Um, it's really easy on the joints, and I find that it helps increase stability as well which is so, so great. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big believer in flexibility. And it's so nice to do movements that burn calories, increase strength, but also boost your flexibility at the same time, right? That's the goal of all of my programs so that they're nice and well-rounded. So, and you guys know I always have my amino H2O during my workouts. Now, I designed this workout for you in three sections. Section number one is core, section number two is legs, and section number three is upper body. Once we get all the way through that, we're gonna have some finisher exercises to really burn it up for the last one, um, which I think you guys will really, really love. So, when you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Now, with the sliders, you're using the mat, but your mat is most of the time just for your hands or one foot. So ideally, you have space behind your mat to work, okay? Because the sliders need to have somewhere to slide, right? So for starters, place your sliders behind the mat, hip width distance apart, and with the sliders, it's important that we have the ball of the foot slider and the heel off. So you want to be able to use your heel as like a brake, right? So if you think about if you were sliding, oh, you set your heel down and you can't slide anymore, right? Almost like skates. <laughs> if you ever skated and you had the little ice pick thing on the back, right? So to start, we will be long side of our mat, shoulders drawing back and down, chest nice and lifted, Half sun salutation, nice warm. So inhale, the arms high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in to lengthen. So hands come up the thighs or up the shins. Breathe out, forward. Reverse that. Inhale, circle the arms up and over. Palms connect. Exhale, down through heart center. Let's try that one more time. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, big stretch. Lengthen on the inhale, nice flat back. Bow on the exhale. Rise all the way up, palms connect. Hands come down through center. We're gonna add on, inhale, arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen. Fold as we breathe out. This time, hands slide back, nice and strong. So you're in a nice, strong plank. Slide back in, set your heel 
heels down, rise all the way up, and hands down through center. So you could have socks on or fold up your tea towels or face cloths so they're just under the foot. Try again, inhale up, fold. Exact same thing, lengthen, lower, hands Slide back, balls of the feet on your equipment. Pull the abs in, slap back up, and rise all the way up to stand, hands to heart center. Cool, let's flow down to the plank, and now we're going to be doing some core movements in our plank, getting into the first section. Lengthen, fold, slide back into plank. And we're going to try a mountain climber. So one knee is going to come right into the chest, and then you're going to switch. So you're switching, switching. Try not to let your bum bounce all over the place. Keep your bum low, in line with your shoulders, and slide your knees in. Shoulders back and down. Breathe nice and deep. Any wrist issues, remember you could also make fists and be on your fists instead of your hands. Go for five, four, three, then you're gonna hold back in your plank. One, both feet out, pull both knees in, back. Both knees in, press back. Oh, I know it burns, that's the idea. 10 to go, pull right in, press back, nine. Out, 
Heel down, squat, pull in. If you're somebody that struggles with balance, it might be worth cutting out coffee before your workout. I just had a big um, Nespresso. I know for me, my balance is always affected by coffee. Let's just try five more. Out, heel down, squat low, pull together.
Go forward and back. Out to the side and back. Back behind you and center. Forward. Side. Back. Forward. See how low you can get in that supporting leg. Out. Back. Try and squeeze your I'm going to count on my fingers how many we do. That's four. We're going to go for ten, then we're going to add on. But we're making sure that supporting knee isn't collapsing inwards. It's out over the ankle. finish. So we're going to have our right foot 
on the mat, left foot behind us. Back leg is going to stay straight. So all you're going to do is a little tip forward, lunges hand into that front leg, back leg straight, then exhale, rise all the way up. If you want to reach down towards the floor to encourage you to get low, then drive it all the way up. So you're trying to squeeze the glute as you rise up. Six, right here at the top. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Seven. Last exercise. Four legs. More. Four. Of course, we gotta hold the last one down. <laughs> Two. Hold the last one down. Hold the last one down. Bring your palms together. Just pull the knee in, kick it back. Pull it in, kick it back. Do it so quick, you don't even have time to complain. Tummy tight, tummy tight. Go for five, and we're out. Four, three, two, one. Oh, give that leg a shake. Mamma mia. That's time under tension. That's what we're creating. So we don't have to lift heavy weights when we create time under tension. Left foot on the mat, or just pointing straight ahead, right toes on the glider. That right foot staying straight. Lunge down, sink low, power up. Sink, power up. Again, make sure the knee is pointing straight ahead in line with that middle toe. Stretch your arms forward. 
What you're going to do is press into your hands, lift your chest up, arms can come back. Press into the hands, arms out, and back. Keep the balls, pardon me, the tops of the feet pressing down. Now, we've tried it that way. Let's try a different way. Arms long at your sides. Press into the hands. Come all the way up. Well, I like this way better. Circle back and down. Arms back. Let's stick with this one, okay? Press down. Up. Squeeze. Circle back. Exhale up. And back. Shoulders relax. You're trying to use the muscles of your mid to lower back. These are like the bra strap muscles, the bra strap area that we all want to work to tighten. That's the one. This is going to help us with our cobra and our upward facing dog for sure. Five more, then we're out. Five. Semi circle out. Four. Up, up, up. Three. Uh. Two. Last one. Make it a good one. Uh. Yes. Amazing. Amazing job. Press all the way up. Unfold your mat. Well, unfold it just once, okay? Now the next one, we're going to work the lats, the muscles right here. It's a side lying lift. So you're on your side. Let's be on your left hip down. On your side, left hip down. Left hand on the glider right beside you. Right hand in front of you for support. Take it slow with this one. You reach out in front, like out in front of your mat, and then you try and squeeze the muscle under the armpit to lift up. So out, lift and squeeze. Right here, yeah. You can even check, is it tight when you press up? And this other hand, the right hand, is just there for support. Make sure you're not hyperextending the elbow. Keep soft in the elbow joint. Way out in front. Up and squeeze. Sorry, Facebook, my internet. Gotta be something. Three. Three more. Two. Last one. Uh, take a little side reach. Good job. Alrighty, swap it around for the other side. So you're down on your right side, right hand on the glider, left hand supporting you. Push down, out, press up and squeeze, right here. And try not to use that supporting hand to push you up. So, come on. 
small, lower down, lift the hips, lower down. Little crunch, down, hips up, down, curl, lower, lift, lower, good. Weight is in those heels to get that booty squeeze at the top. Squeeze, lower, good, curl. Good, five more. We're at the home stretch, and then I'm gonna give you a beautiful cool down to finish. Three more, then the head is staying down. Shake the head, no. 
one vertebrae at a time, rolling all the way up. Send both arms high to the sky. Bend the elbows and take a little tricep stretch on the one side. You can always take a little side bend over. Rise up, switch sides, bend the other elbow, little side bend. <sighs> Rise all the way up and release the arms down. Give the shoulders a roll. Amazing, amazing job today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed today's workout, then you would love the Yoga Burn Booty Challenge that I've got for you, a link around this video. 15 minute done for you follow along routines that you can do right from home without any equipment or just using things that you have around your home as equipment. And we also have the limited edition pink yoga burn foundation still available so make sure you grab that. Again, I put the links around this video for you and I'm wishing you an amazing weekend. Congratulations on completing the second week of the summer challenge. We are moving towards the third week next week, so be sure to check it out. I was seeing if Roger wanted to come see you guys, but he's still napping, so it was just us today. Wishing you a great weekend. Chat soon. Take care. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. I love the slider workouts too. They really are awesome. So I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to share this video if you liked it. Get it out there to as many women as we can so that they can begin experiencing the benefits of our at-home workouts as well. We'll chat to you soon. Big hugs. Lots of love. Bye-bye.